action. I was at Popeye's and I saw the whole future. It was one mother, three children, and all three children were sitting there looking at a device. They never looked up. They never said a word. And as I looked at this family, I looked at the mama and she had like the most weirdest face. She looked like a zombie just sitting there like, is this my life? This can't be my life. I'm asking myself, where's the daddy at? But it ain't no daddy. The future of the world, Google is the daddy, Siri's the mama, and Alexa is the babysitter. In the future, parenting is option. We just give our child a device and say, here, go look at this. And as they looking at the device, the device is learning them. We think that we control these devices. We don't control no devices. Devices control us. Every human being right now who has a phone, we are today's modern slaves. Google controls us. Apple controls us. We don't have no original thoughts. There is no originality. If I ask a, a person who's under 30, go use your imagination, they gonna say, hey Google, what's an imagination? <laughs> That's our actual reality in the modern society. We are digital slaves. You think that you're using TikTok. You think you're using Instagram. Heck no, man. Those algorithms are using you. They're learning you learning your behaviors, and they're telling itself, hey, this is what he likes. And so they just give you more and more and more. It's like that Wu-Tang song, hey, I'm going to sew your butt up and just keep feeding you and feeding you and feeding you. And so as you're mentally constipated, we're just going to overload you with information as our digital overlords completely control us. I saw the future. Have you ever seen that movie Wally? -E? There's a whole bunch of fat people walking around like they're rolling around on on reclining chairs and they uh, sipping on a goat 44 slushy eating a whole bunch of fast food. Popeyes and fast food is their future. And we ain't doing nothing to stop the deterioration of the American person. We're not doing anything to stop the destruction of the human being. We're willfully destroying ourselves. And I asked myself, how in the world can we fight back against that digital overlords? If I told you right now, throw away your phone and you'll save your life. You'll look at me and say, I ain't throwing away my phone. This phone cost me a thousand dollars. That's your actual value. The human being has reduced themselves to a thousand dollars. If I take, man, just go outside and just look at the trees. Like I just Google some trees. I say, man, go outside at nighttime, look at the stars. You say, I could just Google some stars or being a big dodo bird that you is, you would say, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, them is stars. <laughs> we don't have no superstars today. If you look at my shirt right now, Michael Jackson Thriller, that's a superstar. That man has had imagination and creativity. I just listened to the Drake album for my dogs, and I'm like, hey, man, this nigga singing, but he ain't singing. <laughs> a digital algorithm told that man, if you make an album just like this, this is going to do well. With no creativity, with no imagination, with no spontaneity, I'm just going to give the people the exact same thing over and over again. In sociology, this is called the McDonaldization of the world. Like, all they did was give you the exact same hamburger, the exact same fries, and make sure that every time you go to McDonald's, you have the exact same experience. That's Google. That's the smartphone. That's the digital experience. You get the exact same bland ass food over and over and over again. It's not nutritious. It's not healthy. It's bad for you, but you just love it, man. You love those golden arches. It's familiar. Familiarity principle tells you that if you see the exact same message three times, that you're ex you will accept that message. And so every time our phone gives us a prompt, we just take it. It's like a subtle nudge. Hey, you're about to be my digital slave forever and we accept it and so for the american person for you the greatest american love i'm asking how do we reclaim our identity how do we get our humanity back how do we fight against these machines and win ain't no winning we've already lost you gonna keep on saying hey google hey siri hey alexa and that's gonna be the end of humanity the end the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest American alive.